Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's declutter with friends is a little different. We're not making over a space. Instead, we're gonna be talking about whether it's worth it to try to sell your clutter for cash. My friend Rachel is moving soon. She's leaving Los Angeles and I'm helping her clean out her storage closet. She is a fashion designer and has decided that she wants to sell some of her clothing online and in person to make some extra cash because we all know moving is very expensive. So we're going to take you through the process and see if it's really worth the effort. All right, let's begin. I like to do just a little bit of lip liner. No um, foundation right now. It's too hot. It's like 86 degrees today all of a sudden. All of a sudden it's summer here. Hair down. All right. So. Heading over to Rachel's house, just drew my brows and my lip gloss. Tried to do a little bit of highlight here on the cheeks area. Is that highlight or is that just sweat? Hi. Hi. Hello. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> First things first, we assess the situation. So here's what's going on. Rachel moved to Los Angeles about five months ago from Nashville, thinking she would make this her permanent home at least for a few years. And then she got a job offer. So now she's moving, packing up, leaving this adorable apartment, heading up to Santa Barbara. And she has bins upon bins upon bins of random items, papers, tchotchkes, clothing items, lots of different things that she never unpacked and never went through. And we're just seeing if she can lighten her load a little bit and what we can get together for her to sell at a local consignment shop and anything else that she doesn't sell can be donated or she can also try selling some of her items on Poshmark. She is an experienced seller like me. I have a pile of things sitting in my living room that I keep saying I'm gonna post online and it takes me forever to take a picture and write the description and then go back and forth with people. It's not my favorite thing to do. So you really have to decide, is it worth it for you to sell your items online or in person or not? I think if an item is over $50, it could be worth it, but anything less than that, it's probably a lot easier to just donate it, give it to a neighbor, take it to your local donation center and be done with it. So one bin, one item. We've got one item. We're gonna have to crack the whip a little bit here, maybe. <laughs> 99 more to go. But this is stuff that I'm currently selling on Poshmark. It is? Okay, yeah. so that's for sale. So this already. actually goes yeah, that's in good. here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Is there anything in that other box that you think will be sold on Poshmark? Or what's Possibly. That other Let's yes. do that. Let's go through that one. Then. Okay. <laughs> okay, actually, wait. This is stuff that's already been photographed. Okay, so this needs to be separate. Yeah. Okay. This. Instead, because okay. I don't know what's in here. Okay. All right. Box number two. Socks. So these are socks. Yes, they are. <laughs> what this do you goes, always do with This them. goes with the work stuff. Work okay. samples. Work sample. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I know what the theme was in here. It's kind of fitness, kind of not. Okay. This is like a, a cellulite um, breaker upper. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that a whole bag of them? Yeah. Oh, it's like a whole bunch of them? So that's a keep, right? Yeah. Okay, we can keep it in there. You want it, unless, do you want them in here? Yeah, I mean, they're gathered at least. Yeah. Yeah, let's put it in there. They can go out living this one. Any other workout stuff? Yeah, so, well, this is, you know, the dry brush. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like part of the routine. Okay. What's this? Um, for hot yoga. Oh, yeah. we don't. Need that because I have a hydro class. Okay, what is it for? Hot yoga? Like, what like for the water bottle. Okay, so is this just straight up donate? I think so. Yeah, because what else would you do with it? 
You're not gonna posh mark it. Yeah, this is just straight up dummy. What's the hesitation to me? I don't know. <laughs> okay, donate pile. Okay. Number jump two. Rope. Oh, good. Jump rope in there. Remember the zero resistance and okay. I want to some gardening stuff. Okay. For the cat dress. Okay. Okay. Of uh, stuff that I have and have not photographed for Poshma. I've been thinking of ways I could free. Let's cook some steak. This is the best quality meat I have ever cooked at home in my life from Good Chop. Thank you, Good Chop, for sponsoring today's video. If you care about the quality of the meat you consume, you definitely wanna know about Good Chop. I like to treat my body the way a Ferrari owner treats their vehicle, which is premium fuel only, baby. I put the best of the best in terms of quality and being someone who lives an anti-inflammatory lifestyle, I stay away from processed food. So it's really important for me to have quality meat and seafood that is not pumped full of hormones. That's why I shop Good Chop. All of their products are sourced from the US exclusively from American farms and fisheries. They do no antibiotics or added hormones ever. Plus they back everything up with a 100% money back guarantee. I've tried everything from their wild caught salmon to their grass fed steak, and I feel good after eating it so I know my body likes it. Save yourself a trip to the grocery store where the meat quality can be suspect and just have Good Chop delivered straight to your door. Go to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use code CARLA120 or click the link in the caption below to get $120 off across your first four boxes today. That's right, they are giving you $120 off across your first four boxes today. Just go to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use code CARLA120 or click the link in the caption below. Thanks to Good Chop for sponsoring today's video and thanks to you guys for checking them out. That's good. Okay, so this stuff is a combination of things that you're gonna sell on Poshmark. And then we're gonna do a pile for things you're gonna do for Buffalo Exchange, which yes. is like a local consignment shop. Okay, because your Poshmark business, you had a whole like side hustle going. What was like your best month on Poshmark when you're selling stuff? Oh, best month, I would say at least $3,000. Okay, so oh. Rachel knows what she's doing mm -hmm. when it comes to selling things online. Yes. So like the things that you wanna sell, you steam it, you take the picture, mm -hmm. you put it on Poshmark, yeah. but then the things that don't have as high of a resale value, that will go to local consignment shop yes. kind of a thing. Okay, so our categories are things that she's selling on Poshmark, mm -hmm. that she's keeping, that's a dress that we just found that perfect for her right now because it's hot. <laughs> So things she's keeping, things she's going to take to uh, local consignment, things she's going to sell on Poshmark, things she's going to donate, and am I missing anything? Um, I think those are the, those are the categories, those are right? three buckets. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, what about this? Okay, I think this is a nightgown that I just don't really like that much. Um, and it's kind of filly. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is just donate. Okay. Donate pile. What are these alt? Um, stuff that just needs to be put into the dresser. Okay, so keeps yeah. for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? We only wear this once. It's a dress. Uh, got yeah. a lot of compliments on it. Oh, we wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now that I'm a working woman again, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll wear it. What do you think? Will you wear it? Yeah, okay. I'll wear it now that I have a new job. Okay. Tank. Mm -hmm. Has a tag on it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wear that. Keep. Keep. So the items that you want to keep, you want to put them in your dresser or you want to... Yeah, I okay. think I'll just go ahead and put them in my dresser. Okay. Um, I think I had them in a bin because it was before I got my furniture for my new apartment. Oh, got it. Okay. And it just didn't quite make it into the rotation the dresser yeah but now that you're moving what are you going to do will you move with the stuff in the dresser no actually i'm renting the dressers oh um, from furnish that's right so you so will i'll unload. need to empty so that's why i wanted to declutter so i can empty bins yeah and use these to move in oh, okay so Got maybe it. maybe this stuff will go back into a bin <laughs> yeah that's yeah. what i wonder that'll be a sell okay so this is selling what which one um, Poshmark. Poshmark. okay yeah Needs to be photographed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a sports bra is too small. Oh, okay. <laughs> too small sports bra. Donate. Uh, let's do Buffalo for that. Buffalo. One. Okay. If you have a storage unit or even a storage box, I think it's a great thing to go through it once or twice a year 
because you're gonna get reacquainted with the things that are in there and you'll realize that you probably haven't used those items. And if you haven't, and it's been a whole calendar year, I think it's safe to say you can let it go. Oh, hangers. Oh. So that stuff there, is that packing materials? It looks like it's a mixture of packing materials, some sheets, and some hangers. Okay, for packing materials, do you want to put all in that bag there, that giant mm -hmm. bag? I don't need these hangers, these plastic hangers. Donate? So I guess donate, yeah. This one will do for our buffalo. It is maybe 90 degrees here, so we have to have the air conditioning on, if you can hear that background noise. Sorry about that, but we're doing all the different categories now so that we don't get disorganized as we're sorting through all her things. So we've got one box here for all of her stuff for her new job. This is a donate box. This is Buffalo Exchange. These are things that she's gonna sell on Poshmark. Things are starting to add up. These are all things that are gonna be leaving the apartment. And then these things over here are more storage bins that we're still kind of sorting through and things that she's keeping for her move. We're making progress. Making progress. A shirt that I designed. That's pretty. That's so freaking cool. Thanks. I love it. So what do you do with that? Uh, store we'll keep or? it. We'll just store it. Okay, so or... this will now be like a storage. Yeah, because I'm gonna be moving. Yes. So this is all stuff that's being kept that she's taking with her to her new future home, yet to be found. Yet to be found. In progress. Plus the key. Okay. So here's another bin for us to go through. Okay. Another, wait, this too? Or just, yeah. She designed this wallet. Designed this handbag. Yeah, it's seen so better days. Cool. But it's one oh, of my I favorites. Oh, I like the inside. The yeah. inside matches yeah. that texture. So that this so bag cool. was once this color. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Through where it turned into that. That's yeah. Because it's tan. tanned. Oh, it cool. tans in the sun, just like our skin. I love <laughs> it. I also designed this bag. Oh my gosh. And oh, there's a. Uh, for cleaning um, shearling. Oh, okay. okay. So that's a cleaning supply, okay. <laughs> and then this fabric I designed and the North Face picked it up as a, to do a collaboration with Pendleton. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cool. But yeah, cool. I designed this fabric. I actually have a bunch of it in the closet as well. Wow, I love yeah. it. What's in there? What is this? <laughs> Oh, this is a backpack. Okay. I did not design this. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I enjoy this backpack. <laughs> so what's this to keep? Yes. Okay. You want to do this as a keep of all the bags that you want to keep? Yeah. Okay. Do you want it in this thing? Yeah, have? just okay. as a bag protector. Okay. Are all the bags in there keepers or what? Yep. Okay. Keep. 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 Bags to keep. We have a messy box. <laughs> the mystery bags. I have a feeling it's work stuff. <laughs> We spent about three hours going through her plastic bins of random items. We reorganized the items that she's keeping so when she moves into her new place, it will be easy for her to unpack. And then the items that we are going to be taking down to Buffalo Exchange, which is a local consignment shop here in Los Angeles. Let's see how much money they are going to give her for these items. Okay, off 
office supplies yeah. bag. So maybe we'll just lay it flat. Over there. A second there. Uh huh. Oh, this goes with my kitchen aid. <laughs> oh, okay. Kitchen. Is that the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> the old modem, maybe? Is that what this is? Oh, no, that's a scale. Oh. For packages? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I don't know what these things are. Okay, so, so this, where should this go? With office supplies. Okay. So what, do we want to start this as an office supply maybe? Maybe, or? yeah. This is a craft thing, right? Oh, that's for baking. Oh, is it? Yeah. So would you mind just... You kitchen? Toss it in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Tape, do you want this with moving stuff, or is this a different kind of tape? Um, It's painter's tape. Okay, you so want it with your, um, probably, your drop cloth thing? Yeah. Well, I guess we can just go with this stuff for now. Oh, crafts? Uh, okay. What are these things? Um, those are like surge protectors. What do you think? So office supplies? Cords? Or? Oh, okay. Let's talk pros and cons of selling your clutter. On the one hand, selling your items can be a really great way to make some extra money and you get to declutter your home at the same time. On the other hand, it can be a time consuming process and you may not make as much money as you were hoping for on certain items. Washi tapes, do you want these? Oh, electrical tapes. Electrical tape? Electrical yeah. tape? <laughs> you want them in a Ziploc baggie together? Um, yeah, that'd be great. Gloves. Oh, gloves I'll put with my hair dyeing stuff. Tape. Should all these tapes go to go yeah. in there? Yeah. If you do decide to sell your clutter, here are a few tips to make the process as smooth as possible. First, you got to make sure you price your items accordingly. Do some research on similar items and see what they're selling for. I saw something online that said if you purchase something, be willing to sell it for up to half off in order to get it sold quickly. The next thing you want to do is take great photos of your items to showcase them in the best light. After that, it's all about picking the platform you want to use to sell your items. There are tons of online marketplaces from eBay to Poshmark to OfferUp. I think Facebook Marketplace is really popular now. And your other option is to do a good old fashioned yard sale or garage sale. And what we're doing today, consignment shops, is a great option for clothing. Finishing up day one, we're going to head to Buffalo Exchange, see if she can get any money for these items. Anything that doesn't sell, we're going to buy. Oh, this is that cat cafe. Yeah. Well, if you have allergies, don't go in there. Oh, no. This, I mean, for some, I can I never. Have, I have really bad allergies. But not for my heart. Right there. Woo! Yo, you went in? I poked my head and I was like, nope. Uh <laughs> Oh, thank you. I really don't like selling things at consignment shops. I feel like they are so judgy and so picky with the items that they'll actually take. We brought an entire suitcase of things with us. They ended up taking five of her items. And at the end of it, the total amount was $35. Or if she wants store credit, it was $75, which she ended up opting for the store credit. I have my final clutter pile that I keep saying I'm going to sell. And if I don't do it within the next month, I really have to just donate these items because I don't like selling things. It takes too much time. I dread posting it. I dread the whole process. So it's not for me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of selling your clutter. Have you had a good experience? Is it worth it? Let us know. And if you have any resources, feel free to share below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.